Have you ever caught yourself talking to yourself and wondered, is this normal? You're not alone. Self-talk is a common and powerful tool that many people use daily. But what do ancient philosophies like Stoicism and modern psychology say about it? In this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of self-talk, uncovering its benefits, and how it can be used for self-improvement. From the wisdom of Stoic philosophers to the latest psychological research, we'll show you how to make the most of your inner dialogue. Before we dive in, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone who might find it helpful. And here's a fun challenge for you. Comment below with your favorite self-talk strategy or a moment when self-talk helped you overcome a challenge. Let's get started. 1. Self-talk in Stoic Philosophy Self-talk, the act of talking to oneself, is a concept that has been embraced and explored by various philosophical traditions, particularly Stoicism. Stoic philosophers believe that our inner dialogue plays a crucial role in shaping our thoughts, actions, and overall well-being. Self-talk, when guided by Stoic principles, can help us develop self-discipline, manage emotions, and navigate life's challenges more effectively. One of the most famous Stoic philosophers, Marcus Aurelius, frequently engaged in self-talk. His personal writings, compiled in the book Meditations, are a profound example of how self-talk can be used for self-reflection and personal growth. Marcus Aurelius wrote, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This quote underscores the importance of our inner dialogue and how it directly impacts our state of mind and happiness. In Stoicism, self-talk is used as a tool to cultivate virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. By engaging in positive and rational self-talk, we can reinforce these virtues in our daily lives. For example, when faced with a difficult situation, a Stoic might remind themselves, I have control over my responses and actions. I can choose to remain calm and act with reason. This type of self-talk helps to maintain composure and make thoughtful decisions rather than reacting impulsively. Epictetus, another prominent Stoic philosopher, emphasize the importance of focusing on what is within our control. He famously said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This principle can be applied through self-talk by constantly reminding ourselves to focus on our own actions and attitudes. When we encounter setbacks or obstacles, we can use self-talk to shift our perspective and concentrate on what we can control. For instance, saying to oneself, I can't control the outcome, but I can control my effort and attitude, can help maintain a sense of empowerment and resilience. Stoic self-talk also involves questioning and challenging negative or irrational thoughts. The Stoics believed that many of our negative emotions stem from faulty thinking. By using self-talk to critically examine our thoughts, we can identify and correct these cognitive distortions. For example, if you find yourself thinking, I will never be able to succeed, a Stoic approach would be to challenge this thought with rational self-talk. Why do I believe this? What evidence do I have? Everyone faces setbacks, and they do not define my ability to succeed. In addition to personal growth, self-talk and Stoicism is used to prepare for future challenges. The Stoics practiced a technique called Premeditatio Malorum, premeditation of evils, where they would visualize potential difficulties and rehearse how they would respond. This mental preparation helps to build resilience and reduces anxiety. For example, a Stoic might engage in self-talk such as, If I lose my job, I will stay calm, assess my options, and take proactive steps to find a new opportunity. By anticipating challenges and planning responses, Stoic self-talk helps to create a sense of readiness and confidence. Modern psychology supports many of these Stoic practices. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, a widely used therapeutic approach, also emphasizes the importance of self-talk. CBT helps individuals identify and challenge negative thought patterns and replace them with more rational and positive thoughts. This process 
is strikingly similar to the Stoic practice of questioning and reframing thoughts. For example, if a person is experiencing anxiety about public speaking, CBT would encourage them to use self-talk to reframe their thoughts. I am prepared and capable. Even if I make a mistake, it is a learning opportunity. Another psychological concept that aligns with Stoic self-talk is the idea of self-efficacy, developed by psychologist Albert Bandura. Self-efficacy refers to an individual's belief in their ability to succeed in specific situations. Positive self-talk can enhance self-efficacy by reinforcing confidence and competence. For instance, telling yourself, I have the skills and knowledge to handle this task, can boost your belief in your abilities and increase your likelihood of success. A real-life example of effective self-talk can be seen in athletes. Many athletes use self-talk to enhance their performance and manage stress. For instance, during a high-pressure game, an athlete might use self-talk to stay focused and calm. Stay in the moment. Focus on your technique. You have trained for this. This practice helps to maintain concentration and composure, even in challenging situations. Self-talk is a powerful tool that is deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy and supported by modern psychology. By engaging in positive and rational self-talk, we can cultivate virtues, manage our emotions, and prepare for challenges. Whether through questioning and challenging negative thoughts, focusing on what is within our control, or visualizing future difficulties, Stoic self-talk helps to develop a disciplined and resilient mindset. As Marcus Aurelius and other Stoic philosophers have shown, the quality of our thoughts truly determines the quality of our lives. 2. Psychological Benefits of Self-Talk Self-talk, the internal dialogue we have with ourselves, plays a significant role in our mental health and overall well-being. Modern psychology has extensively studied the impact of self-talk revealing numerous benefits that align with the principles of Stoic philosophy. Understanding these psychological benefits can help us harness the power of self-talk to improve our focus, problem-solving abilities, and emotional regulation. One of the primary psychological benefits of self-talk is its ability to improve focus and concentration. When we engage in positive and task-oriented self-talk, we can direct our attention to the task at hand and reduce the influence of distractions. For example, when studying for an exam, self-talk such as, I need to focus on this chapter for the next hour, can help maintain concentration and enhance productivity. This aligns with the stoic practice of focusing on what is within our control, as emphasized by Epictetus. The more we value things outside our control, the less control we have. Research in psychology supports this idea. A study published in the journal Perspectives on Psychological Science found that self-talk can enhance cognitive performance by providing clear instructions and maintaining focus. The study showed that athletes, for instance, often use self-talk to improve their performance by focusing on specific tasks and techniques. This approach can be applied in various contexts such as academics, work, or personal projects, to boost concentration and efficiency. Self-talk also plays a crucial role in problem-solving. When faced with a complex problem, engaging in self-talk can help break down the issue into manageable parts and develop a step-by-step -step approach to finding a solution. For example, when dealing with a challenging work project, self-talk like First, I need to gather all the necessary information, then I will outline the main points, and finally, I will draft the report, can provide a clear roadmap and reduce feelings of overwhelm. Albert Ellis, a pioneer in cognitive behavioral therapy, introduced the concept of Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy, REBT, which emphasizes the role of self-talk in shaping our emotions and behaviors. According to Ellis, our emotional responses are largely influenced by our internal dialogue. By identifying and challenging irrational beliefs through self-talk, we can develop more rational and constructive thought patterns. For instance, if you are feeling anxious about a presentation, 
you might use self-talk to counter irrational fears. It's normal to feel nervous, but I am prepared and capable. I can handle this. Positive self-talk is particularly effective in reducing anxiety and stress. When we encounter stressful situations, our self-talk can either exacerbate or alleviate our anxiety. By engaging in calming and supportive self-talk, we can manage our stress levels and maintain a sense of control. For example, during a stressful meeting, self-talk such as, take deep breaths and stay calm, you're capable of handling this, can help regulate your emotions and improve your performance. Psychological research has shown that positive self-talk can significantly reduce anxiety. A study published in the journal Cognitive Therapy and Research found that individuals who practiced positive self-talk experienced lower levels of anxiety and improved coping skills. This finding aligns with the stoic principle of using rational self-talk to manage emotions and maintain inner peace. Self-talk also enhances self-esteem and self-confidence. When we use affirming and encouraging self-talk, we reinforce our sense of self-worth and belief in our abilities. For example, telling yourself, I am competent and capable, I can achieve my goals, can boost your confidence and motivation. This is supported by Bandura's concept of self-efficacy, which emphasizes the importance of believing in our ability to succeed. Positive self-talk strengthens self-efficacy by reinforcing our confidence and resilience. A real-life example of the power of positive self-talk can be seen in the experiences of renowned athletes like Michael Jordan. Jordan, widely regarded as one of the greatest basketball players of all time, often spoke about the importance of positive self-talk in his career. He used self-talk to maintain focus, build confidence, and overcome setbacks. Jordan's mental toughness and resilience were, in part, a result of his effective use of self-talk. In addition to enhancing self-esteem, self-talk can improve emotional regulation. By engaging in self-talk that acknowledges and validates our emotions, we can better understand and manage them. For example, when feeling frustrated, self-talk like, It's okay to feel frustrated. What can I do to address this situation? can help us process our emotions constructively. This approach aligns with the stoic practice of self-reflection, as emphasized by Seneca. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. By reflecting on our emotions through self-talk, we can gain perspective and reduce unnecessary suffering. Self-talk can also foster a growth mindset, a concept developed by psychologist Carol Dweck. A growth mindset is the belief that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through effort and learning. By using self-talk to reinforce this belief, we can enhance our motivation and perseverance. For example, instead of saying, I can't do this, try saying, I can't do this yet, but with practice and effort, I will improve. This type of self-talk encourages a positive attitude toward challenges and fosters a willingness to learn and grow. Self-talk offers numerous psychological benefits that align with the principles of Stoic philosophy. By improving focus, enhancing problem-solving abilities, reducing anxiety, boosting self-esteem, and fostering emotional regulation, self-talk can significantly impact our mental health and overall well-being. Whether through positive affirmations, rational self-reflection, or maintaining a growth mindset, Effective self-talk can help us navigate life's challenges with resilience and confidence. Embrace the power of self-talk and let the wisdom of Stoicism guide you toward a more disciplined and fulfilling life. 3. Self-Reflection and Self-Talk Self-reflection is a key component of Stoic philosophy and is closely tied to the practice of self-talk. By engaging in self-reflection, we can better understand our thoughts, actions, and emotions. This awareness allows us to make conscious choices that align with our values and goals, fostering personal growth and discipline. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, is an excellent example of how self-reflection can be integrated with self-talk. In his personal journal, Meditations, Marcus Aurelius often engaged in self-talk to reflect on his day, his actions, and his thoughts. 
He wrote, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This quote underscores the importance of examining our thoughts through self-reflection and ensuring they are aligned with our values. Self-reflection through self-talk involves asking ourselves questions that promote introspection and growth. For instance, at the end of each day, we might ask ourselves, what did I do well today? Where can I improve? Did my actions align with my values? These questions help us evaluate our behavior and identify areas for improvement. Psychological research supports the benefits of self-reflection for personal growth and well-being. A study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology found that self-reflection helps individuals gain insight into their behaviors and emotions, leading to improved self-regulation and emotional intelligence. By regularly engaging in self-reflection through self-talk, we can develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and make more informed decisions. Seneca, another prominent Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of self-reflection in his letters. He advised, We should every night call ourselves to an account. What infirmity have I mastered today? What passions opposed? What temptation resisted? What virtue acquired? This practice of nightly self-reflection helps us evaluate our progress and maintain discipline. A practical way to incorporate self-reflection into your daily routine is to keep a journal. Writing down your thoughts and reflections can provide clarity and insight into your actions and emotions. For example, you might write about a challenging situation you faced during the day and reflect on how you handled it. Did you respond with patience and wisdom, or did you react impulsively? By examining your actions through self-talk in your journal, you can identify patterns and make conscious efforts to improve. Self-talk can also help us set intentions and goals for self-improvement. For example, you might use self-talk to set a goal for the following day. Tomorrow, I will practice patience when faced with challenges. I will take deep breaths and respond calmly. By setting specific intentions through self-talk, you can cultivate the habits and behaviors that align with your values. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of focusing on what is within our control. He said, make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. Self-reflection through self-talk allows us to focus on our actions and responses rather than external events. For instance, if you experience a setback at work, self-talk can help you shift your focus to what you can control. I can't change the outcome, but I can learn from this experience and improve my skills. Modern psychology also highlights the benefits of self-reflection for emotional regulation. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, a widely used therapeutic approach, encourages individuals to examine their thoughts and challenge negative or irrational beliefs. By using self-talk to reflect on and reframe these thoughts, individuals can develop healthier and more adaptive thinking patterns. For example, if you find yourself thinking, I always fail, CBT would encourage you to use self-talk to challenge this belief. What evidence do I have that supports this thought? Are there times when I have succeeded? Self-reflection through self-talk can also enhance our relationships with others. By examining our interactions and considering how we can improve, we can develop more effective communication and empathy. For instance, after a disagreement with a friend, you might use self-talk to reflect on the situation. Did I listen to their perspective? How could I have communicated more effectively? This practice helps us become more mindful of our actions and fosters personal growth. A real-life example of the power of self-reflection can be seen in the life of Mahatma Gandhi, the leader of the Indian independence movement. Gandhi regularly engaged in self-reflection through self-talk and journaling. He examined his actions, thoughts, and motivations constantly striving to align them with his principles of nonviolence and truth. Gandhi's disciplined approach to self-reflection helped him lead a life of integrity and purpose. Self-reflection and self-talk are essential practices for personal growth and discipline, as taught by Stoic philosophy. By regularly examining our thoughts, actions, and emotions through self-talk, we can gain insight into our behavior and make conscious efforts to improve. Whether through journaling, 
setting intentions, or challenging negative beliefs. Self-reflection helps us align our actions with our values and develop a disciplined mindset. Remember the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus as you incorporate self-reflection into your daily routine. 4. Managing Emotions Through Self-Talk Managing emotions is a critical aspect of developing discipline, and self-talk is a powerful tool for emotional regulation. Stoic philosophy teaches us that our emotions are influenced by our thoughts and perceptions. By using self-talk to challenge and reframe our thoughts, we can better manage our emotions and maintain a sense of inner peace. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of focusing on our responses to external events rather than the events themselves. He said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This quote highlights the idea that our emotional responses are within our control and we can use self-talk to regulate them. One effective way to manage emotions through self-talk is to practice cognitive restructuring. This technique, widely used in cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, involves identifying and challenging irrational or negative thoughts and replacing them with more rational and positive ones. For example, if you are feeling anxious about a presentation, you might use self-talk to challenge your negative thoughts. Why am I feeling anxious? What evidence do I have that supports my fear? I am well prepared and capable of handling this presentation. Research in psychology supports the effectiveness of cognitive restructuring for emotional regulation. A study published in the Journal of Cognitive Psychotherapy found that individuals who practiced cognitive restructuring experienced significant reductions in anxiety and depression. By using self-talk to reframe negative thoughts, we can develop healthier and more adaptive thinking patterns. Marcus Aurelius, in his journal Meditations, often used self-talk to manage his emotions and maintain a sense of calm. He wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This quote underscores the importance of focusing on our thoughts and using self-talk to regulate our emotions. For example, when feeling overwhelmed, Marcus Aurelius might remind himself, I have control over my reactions. I can choose to remain calm and composed. Another technique for managing emotions through self-talk is to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness involves being fully present in the moment and aware of our thoughts and emotions without judgment. By using self-talk to stay grounded in the present, we can prevent our emotions from spiraling out of control. For example, during a stressful situation, you might use self-talk to stay mindful. Focus on your breathing. Stay in the present moment. You are capable of handling this. Mindfulness-based practices, such as mindfulness-based stress reduction, MBSR, have been shown to be effective in reducing stress and improving emotional regulation. A study published in the journal Psychosomatic Medicine found that individuals who practiced mindfulness experienced significant reductions in stress and improved emotional well-being. By integrating mindfulness and self-talk, we can enhance our ability to manage emotions. Seneca, another prominent Stoic philosopher, advised using self-talk to maintain perspective and reduce emotional distress. He said, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This quote reminds us that our thoughts can amplify our emotions and create unnecessary suffering. By using self-talk to challenge catastrophic thinking, we can maintain a more balanced perspective. For example, if you are worried about a potential failure, you might use self-talk to remind yourself, even if things don't go as planned, I can learn from the experience and grow. A practical way to manage emotions through self-talk is to create affirmations that reinforce positive beliefs and attitudes. Affirmations are positive statements that can help rewire our thought patterns and boost our emotional resilience. For example, if you struggle with self-doubt, you might use affirmations like, I am capable and confident. I trust in my abilities. Repeating these affirmations regularly can help shift your mindset and improve your emotional well-being. Research has shown that positive affirmations 
can have a significant impact on emotional regulation. A study published in the journal Social Cognitive and Effective Neuroscience found that individuals who practice self-affirmation experience reduced stress and improved emotional resilience. By incorporating affirmations into your self-talk, you can enhance your ability to manage emotions. A real-life example of managing emotions through self-talk can be seen in the experiences of professional athletes. Many athletes use self-talk to stay focused and calm under pressure. For instance, during a high-stakes game, an athlete might use self-talk to regulate their emotions. Stay focused. Trust your training. You can do this. This practice helps them maintain composure and perform at their best. Stoicism also teaches the importance of acceptance and embracing the present moment. By using self-talk to accept and embrace our emotions, we can reduce resistance and improve our emotional regulation. For example, if you are feeling sad, you might use self-talk to acknowledge and accept your emotion. It's okay to feel sad. Allow yourself to experience this emotion without judgment. This acceptance can help you process and move through your emotions more effectively. 5. Improving Self-Discipline with Self-Talk Improving self-discipline is a crucial aspect of personal growth, and self-talk is a powerful tool in achieving this goal. Stoic philosophy provides valuable insights into how we can use self-talk to enhance our self-discipline, allowing us to stay focused on our goals and maintain consistency in our actions. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, often used self-talk to reinforce his discipline. In his journal, Meditations, he wrote, If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. This quote reflects the importance of aligning our actions with our values through disciplined self-talk. By reminding ourselves of our principles, we can strengthen our commitment to our goals and avoid distractions. One effective way to use self-talk for improving self-discipline is to set clear and specific goals. When we have a well-defined objective, self-talk can help us stay focused and motivated. For example, if your goal is to exercise regularly, you might use self-talk to set a clear intention. I will work out for 30 minutes every day because it is important for my health. This type of self-talk reinforces your commitment and helps you maintain discipline. Psychological research supports the idea that self-talk can enhance goal-setting and self-discipline. A study published in the Journal of Sport and Exercise Psychology found that athletes who used goal-directed self-talk showed improved performance and adherence to their training routines. By using self-talk to set clear goals and remind ourselves of their importance, we can enhance our self-discipline in various areas of life. Another technique for improving self-discipline with self-talk is to break tasks into smaller, manageable steps. When faced with a large or daunting task, it can be easy to procrastinate or feel overwhelmed. By using self-talk to divide the task into smaller parts, we can make it more manageable and maintain our motivation. For example, if you need to write a lengthy report, you might use self-talk to break it down. First, I will outline the main sections. Then, I will write the introduction. This approach helps you stay focused and disciplined, completing one step at a time. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of focusing on what is within our control. He said, Make the best use of what is in your power, and take the rest as it happens. This principle can be applied through self-talk by reminding ourselves to concentrate on our actions and efforts. When working on a challenging task, self-talk can help us stay focused on the process rather than becoming anxious about the outcome. For example, you might use self-talk to stay present. I will give my best effort and focus on what I can control. Self-talk can also be used to overcome procrastination, a common obstacle to self-discipline. When we procrastinate, it is often due to fear, self-doubt, or a lack of motivation. By using self-talk to address these underlying issues, we can take action and maintain discipline. For example, if you are procrastinating on starting a project, you might use self-talk to confront your fear. I am capable of doing this. I will start with a small step and build from there. 
This type of self-talk helps to build confidence and momentum, reducing procrastination. Seneca, another prominent Stoic philosopher, advised using self-talk to cultivate perseverance and resilience. He said, It does not matter how many times you get knocked down, but how many times you get up. This quote emphasizes the importance of persistence in the face of challenges. By using self-talk to encourage ourselves to keep going, even when things get tough, we can develop greater self-discipline. For example, if you face a setback, you might use self-talk to stay motivated. I will learn from this experience and keep moving forward. A practical way to use self-talk for self-discipline is to create positive affirmations that reinforce your commitment to your goals. Affirmations are positive statements that can help rewire your thought patterns and boost your discipline. For example, if your goal is to eat healthier, you might use affirmations like, I choose to nourish my body with healthy foods. I'm committed to my health. Repeating these affirmations regularly can help strengthen your discipline and resolve. Research has shown that positive affirmations can have a significant impact on self-discipline. A study published in the journal Social, Cognitive, and Effective Neuroscience found that individuals who practice self-affirmation experienced increased activity in brain regions associated with self-control and discipline. By incorporating affirmations into your self-talk, you can enhance your ability to stay disciplined and achieve your goals. A real-life example of improving self-discipline through self-talk can be seen in the experiences of successful entrepreneurs. Many entrepreneurs use self-talk to stay focused and motivated, despite the challenges they face. For instance, during the early stages of building a business, an entrepreneur might use self-talk to stay committed. I believe in my vision. I will keep working hard and stay disciplined to achieve my goals. This practice helps them maintain their focus and drive, even when faced with obstacles. Stoicism also teaches the importance of self-reflection in maintaining self-discipline. By regularly reflecting on our actions and progress through self-talk, we can identify areas for improvement and stay on track. For example, at the end of each day, you might use self-talk to evaluate your discipline. Did I stay focused on my goals today? What can I do better tomorrow? This practice helps to reinforce your commitment and maintain discipline over time. Improving self-discipline with self-talk is a powerful practice rooted in Stoic philosophy and supported by modern psychology. By setting clear goals, breaking tasks into smaller steps, addressing procrastination, using positive affirmations, and practicing self-reflection, we can enhance our self-discipline and achieve our objectives. Remember the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and Seneca as you use self-talk to stay focused and committed to your goals. 6. Cultivating Emotional Resilience with Self-Talk Cultivating emotional resilience is essential for navigating life's challenges, and self-talk is a valuable tool in building this resilience. Stoic philosophy provides profound insights into how we can use self-talk to strengthen our emotional resilience, allowing us to remain calm and composed in the face of adversity. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, often used self-talk to maintain his emotional resilience. In his journal Meditations, he wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This quote emphasizes the importance of focusing on our internal responses rather than external circumstances. By using self-talk to remind ourselves of this principle, we can cultivate greater emotional resilience. One effective way to use self-talk for cultivating emotional resilience is to practice acceptance. Acceptance involves acknowledging and embracing our emotions without judgment or resistance. When faced with a challenging situation, we can use self-talk to accept our emotions and stay grounded. For example, if you are feeling anxious about an upcoming event, you might use self-talk to accept your anxiety. It's okay to feel anxious. I acknowledge this feeling and will focus on what I can control. This acceptance helps to reduce emotional resistance and build resilience. 
Research in psychology supports the benefits of acceptance for emotional resilience. Acceptance and Commitment Therapy, ACT, is a therapeutic approach that encourages individuals to accept their thoughts and emotions rather than trying to avoid or control them. A study published in the journal Behavior Therapy found that individuals who practiced acceptance experienced reduced anxiety and improved emotional resilience. By using self-talk to practice acceptance, we can enhance our ability to cope with difficult emotions. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of focusing on what is within our control. He said, Make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. This principle can be applied through self-talk by reminding ourselves to focus on our actions and attitudes. When experiencing a setback, self-talk can help us stay resilient by focusing on what we can control. I can't change the situation, but I can control my response. I will stay calm and look for solutions. Another technique for cultivating emotional resilience with self-talk is to reframe negative experiences. Reframing involves changing the way we interpret and perceive a situation. By using self-talk to reframe negative experiences, we can develop a more positive and resilient mindset. For example, if you face a rejection, you might use self-talk to reframe the experience. This rejection is an opportunity to learn and grow. I will use this experience to improve and try again. This reframing helps to build resilience and maintain a positive outlook. Seneca, another prominent Stoic philosopher, advised using self-talk to maintain perspective and reduce emotional distress. He said, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This quote reminds us that our thoughts can amplify our emotions and create unnecessary suffering. By using self-talk to challenge catastrophic thinking, we can maintain a more balanced perspective. For example, if you are worried about a potential failure, you might use self-talk to remind yourself, even if things don't go as planned, I can learn from the experience and grow. A practical way to cultivate emotional resilience with self-talk is to create a mental toolkit of coping strategies. This toolkit can include positive affirmations, mindfulness techniques, and self-compassion statements. For example, when facing a difficult situation, you might use self-talk to remind yourself of your strengths. I have overcome challenges before, and I can do it again. I am strong and capable. Having a repertoire of positive self-talk statements can help you stay resilient and composed. Research has shown that positive self-talk can significantly impact emotional resilience. A study published in the journal Psychology of Sport and Exercise found that athletes who practiced positive self-talk demonstrated greater resilience and performance under pressure. By incorporating positive self-talk into your daily routine, you can enhance your emotional resilience and cope more effectively with stress. A real-life example of cultivating emotional resilience through self-talk can be seen in the experiences of successful individuals who have faced adversity. For instance, Oprah Winfrey, a renowned media mogul, often speaks about the importance of positive self-talk in overcoming her challenging childhood and career setbacks. Winfrey's resilience and success are partly attributed to her ability to use self-talk to maintain a positive and determined mindset. Stoicism also teaches the importance of premeditatio malorum, or the premeditation of evils. This practice involves mentally preparing for potential challenges and rehearsing how we will respond. By using self-talk to anticipate and plan for difficulties, we can build emotional resilience and reduce anxiety. For example, you might use self-talk to prepare for a challenging conversation. If the discussion becomes heated, I will remain calm and listen actively. I will respond with patience and respect. This mental rehearsal helps to build confidence and resilience. Cultivating emotional resilience with self-talk is a powerful practice rooted in Stoic philosophy and supported by modern psychology. By practicing acceptance, reframing negative experiences, using positive affirmations, and mentally preparing for challenges, 
we can enhance our emotional resilience and navigate life's adversities with greater ease. Remember the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and Seneca as you use self-talk to strengthen your emotional resilience and maintain inner peace. Incorporating stoic principles into your daily self-talk can profoundly impact your life, helping you develop discipline, manage emotions, and cultivate resilience. By setting clear goals, creating consistent routines, prioritizing tasks, practicing self-reflection, limiting distractions, staying accountable, and embracing challenges, you can transform your inner dialogue and achieve personal growth. Remember, the wisdom of Stoic philosophers, like Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and Seneca, as you navigate life's ups and downs. Use self-talk as a tool to reinforce your values, stay focused on what you can control, and maintain a balanced perspective. With consistent practice, you can harness the power of self-talk to lead a more disciplined, resilient, and fulfilling life. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit from these insights. We'd love to hear from you. Comment below with the area of your life where you plan to apply these stoic principles and how you will start implementing them today. Together, let's embrace the path of discipline and personal growth. Thanks for watching.